right, man. Richardson Hitchison out here hating on Devin Haney again. He said people say, "Oh man, you, you, you pro Devin Haney, man." And, all, and I also said Devin Haney need to fight uh, Shakira Stevenson. I've said a lot of objective things about him, but y'all the ones that's dick riding Tank and trying to protect Tank is wild to me. That's super duper wild. Devin Haney then took more way more risks and trying to fight the best. Shantia Fima Lopez has as well. But y'all don't ask Tank Davis to do nothing. Y'all, y'all fake like y'all tank fans, but don't buy the pay-per-view. All right. So uh Richard Hitchinson, I got a video too. You know, well, Devin Haney ain't earned nothing. And man, nobody tell your dumb ass to sign with Floyd. And now you fighting on you fighting in the UK or something like that, or you fighting in some type of 707 tournament. Why the fuck you here? Crazy. Don't you know, should you be over Haiti uh helping them or something? Oh, Andre Berto canceled the whole fight to go help them people when they had that uh, typhoon or hurricane, whatever it was. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But Hitchin exposed Devin Haney weight rehydration tactics. And we about, we about to go in, bro. I'm about to make this nigga cry. I just like to get to the post. He's coming in the ring at 175. Devin Haney is coming in. And to fights at 165, I don't think he'd go into the ring with Sabriel Matias with that rehydration uh, uh, in effect and say Richard says Richards and Hitchens and criticizing Devin Haney. Now check this out. Apparently, um, somebody don't know the rules. When there's a unification involved, the rehydration clause in the IBF is waived. We got boxers who don't know the fucking rules. Who don't know the rules. So when you do a unification bout, you don't have to do the rehydration clause. All right? And one thing we know, y'all might not know because he ain't nobody. All right? Is one thing we know is he ducks Sabriel Matias. See, he's saying, well, Devin Haney's a weight bully and, and this, that, and the third. Cool. All right? But don't be a hypocrite. He said, well, you know, uh, I couldn't do the rehydration clause with the IBF versus Sabriel Matias. But here this nigga go with Devin Haney name in his mouth, right? Here he go. Talking about, well, you know, Devin Haney wouldn't do it. You, nigga, you don't have a title. You don't have a name, right? You a car without an emblem on it. You ain't a Ford. You ain't a Rooster and a Rari. You ain't a motherfucking Volkswagen Beetle. Don't know why I know the fuck you is. You talking about, I turned down the shot with Sabriel Matias because I can't do the rehydration clause. But then again, here you go, talking about Devin Haney. Oh, he liked to rehydrate high, but your ass can't even make the rehydration clause. Worry about you. Cash flow, Devin Haney and them came up in Floyd Jim and then signed with him. Here come your dumb ass from Brooklyn, New York, signing with Floyd. Shakir Stevenson didn't sign with him. Andre Ward, Mikey Garcia, none of them signed with Floyd, but your dumb ass did career up. Now you got to sign to the pilgrim. Come on. So you'll be thinking, you'll be thinking this dude will be able to make the IBF rehydration clause. You'll be thinking this dude can, can make the weight. You'll be thinking that, hey, man, his track record clean to make the weight and not rehydrate high. That's what you'll be saying. Like, oh, this brother, this brother can, this brother probably can, you know, make the rehydration clause with no problem. No, he can't even do it. So talking about what another man uh probably wouldn't do when he don't have to because it's a unification bout, right? Because he don't have to. Talking about what another brother won't do, but you can't do it. You duck the man talking about, well, you know, I can't really make the real Man, shut the fuck up. You shouldn't be calling nobody a duck. You shouldn't be speaking on another man when you can't even make the rehydration clause. Come on, you can't even make it. You duck that man. Oh, okay, it's rehydration club. But you speaking on another, oh, he wouldn't do it neither. And, uh, or I too. You ain't, you know, you turn it down title fights. How how about ask for an exemption? Huh. Come on, you duck Jack, you know, you and Jack Catterall ducked around each other, and now you fighting the other. Uh, zesty lemon, you fighting zesty lemon and shit, which ain't nobody gonna watch that. Come on, you fighting on channel double zero in the UK? It's wild. 
That's crazy. Well, you know, Devin won't do this, and he was giving this, and you know, I, I didn't get nothing, and that's your fault, nigga. That's that's black people problem. Well, your parents gave you a car. Yo, you know, I had to get it out the mud. Hey, that's your broke ass people fault, man. That's your that's your people fault for not setting you up, not setting you up for success. You know, he had the easy route. It's my fault because I got some bread. And your people didn't have the bread to put no money up so you can advance your career. Go blame your mom and daddy for not for having a, having a, a child broke than a motherfucker. How about that? That's not how it's supposed to be. He said this guy rehydrating the 165. I'm not even going to uh I'm not even going to rehydrate. I'm complaining. If Haney was about that, he'd fight Tank with rehydration clause fight happen because that's the biggest fight, the legacy, and Tank doesn't want to go to 40 and let Devin go up to 165. Look here, dude. Here you go with Tank Dick name in your mouth. Why don't you go get on all four? Matter of fact, why don't you do the bend over Diddy, do the Meek Mill, go ahead and bend over for Tank and go sign the T uh Tank Davis promotions. How about that? How about that? Floyd didn't bust you down and let Tank bust you down. Where in the boxing rule book says that I gotta rehy I gotta do a rehydration clause? Where does it say that at? Let think think about that for a minute. Where does it say, oh man, I gotta fight a rehydration clause? Man, no, tank park heavyweights. Tank can speak for itself. And if a rehydration clause was a problem, why he never fight Lomachenko? Lomachenko don't rehydrate uh high. Why he don't fight Lomachenko then? Why he never fought Lomachenko? Riddle me that. So stop making excuses for the man. Tank Park heavyweights. He the one. Right? Fight the man high. Fight the man high he come. Everybody, oh, he too big and this, that, and the third. And, and Sergio Martinez then put one on, on, on Julio Cesar Chavez and still whooped his ass. Niggas fought Paul Williams and then put one on Paul Williams. Carlos Catana still beat him the first time. So what are we what are we talking about? Be fighters. If you get into a fight in the street, nigga, you can't say, "Oh, it's a rehydration clause." Come on, all them big mother, all them big, uh, all them big dudes uh, at fifty four, or all them dudes at fifty four, they ain't complaining about fucking Sebastian Fondor. It's the fans complaining about Sebastian Fondor. They not complaining about Sebastian Fondor. It's the fans. Oh, he's too big and. Nigga, you act like you in the in there. You the one taking the ass whooping. If you can make the weight when you supposed to make the weight, it ain't no debate. But you can't even make the debate uh, the weight to fight Sabriel Matias because you talking about I can't do the ten pound rehydration clause. But here you go, dick munching another dude about what he can and can't do, but your bitch ass can't do it. How about that? New York niggas talk all that shit, and they gonna end up like Colbert, ass up, face down. He gonna be doing it. Get it sexy. He says he never beat this guy. Haney ain't never beat no killer. This guy's just a fraud. Who have you beaten? You ain't no killer. You known for getting dropped by us, uh, Jerron Ennis in the amateurs. Who have you beaten? You duck Sabrio Matias. You duck Sabrio Matias. So who have you beaten to be to, to be criticized and people don't even know who the fuck you is. This crazy. Now, if he was fighting Sabriel Matias and he was fighting him for the IBF, I wouldn't even make a video about this. I wouldn't even make a video about it. I promise you. I wouldn't even say nothing. I wouldn't even say nothing. I wouldn't even say nothing. I'd be like, he about to fight a killer. He building up the Devin Haney fight. But he fighting Zesty Lemon. Come on, man. He fighting Zesty Lemon. Make it make sense. Come on. He's fighting Zesty Lamont, bro. He fighting Zesty Lamont. This is crazy. He's fighting Zesty Lamon, brothers. Man, and he running and he running his mouth. Like he fight, like he didn't duck Sabriel Matias. Like we don't know the current news. Well, you know, he ain't beat no killer. He ain't did this. He didn't did that. You ain't beat nobody, bro. You ain't beat nobody. 
trying to make a name for a nigga, but all we he got a purse. He brought a fucking purse. Come on, man. He talking like he a killer about to fight Zesty Lamont, and he brought a fucking purse. Not only did he bring a purse, he brought a picture of himself with the IBF title that he just ducked Sabrio Matias. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. He got a picture with the, the secondary, third dairy, interim, IBF, intercontinental, inner Washington, Brooklyn, uh, uh, fried chicken, Cobra spot belt on with a fucking purse. And before you say it's Eddie purse, Eddie don't got no red on. That ain't Eddie's purse. This nigga up there with a whole purse. With a fucked up fade, bro. Look what he wearing, bro. What's wrong with you niggas, man? You wearing a shirt with your with a belt that you ducked the champion for. Tell me, okay, make the rehydration clause, but then turn around and say, well, Devin, you know, he should do a rehydration clause, and I bet he won't do it. Bitch, you ain't do it. How about that? You didn't do it. <laughs> Come on, man. Nasty work. You ducked the man for the belt. You ducked the man, and then you wore a shirt. With the man on the belt and said, well, I bet Devin Haney wouldn't do it. But nigga, you ain't do it. You ain't nothing. You fighting Zesty Lamont. You fighting a nigga named Zesty Lemon, bro. And you got the nerve to run your fucking mouth is nasty work, bro. And look at your haircut. Where did you get your haircut? In Haiti with a machete? Who did that line in New York, bro? Who did that fade? Who did that temple fade or that taper? What is that? It's like he been wearing a headband. And he just took the headband off, man. And it's just, you know, oh my goodness, bro. What is going on in these streets, bro? Not only is he criticizing the dude when he ain't never done nothing, he criticizing the dude about a rehydration clause that he ducks a real Matias to fight for the IBF and said, I can't make the rehydration clause. And on top of that, he wearing a shirt with the belt that Sabrio Matias actually has that he should be fighting for next. Make it make sense, man. This is this is Negroes. These are boxers in 2024. Ring the bell, bro. Ring the bell. Thumbs up the video. Share the video with a purse. So, oh, man, New York niggas, what happened to y'all niggas, man? What happened? Y'all niggas wanted to sound like Future and dress like Atlanta niggas so bad. What happened to New York niggas, man? Boy, Biggie rolling over in his grave right now, man. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Big L rolling over in his grave right now. <laughs> it's that link tree. Find me on X, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, the whole nine. Appreciate the love and support. When Eddie and Le Zesty Lamone is out dressing your ass, man, hang it up, bro. This nigga dressed like TLC, bro. <laughs> Red light district ass nigga, man. Come on, man. Peace, man. Let me get up out of here.